Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. My name is Ivan and today we'll be discussing how to create a financial reporting scheduled batch via workspace using Oracle Hyperion Financial Reporting version 11.1.2.2. Financial reporting batches are primarily created, maintained, and run from within EPM workspace. Batches can also be maintained and run from within the file system using the batch scheduler executable. However, this presentation will not cover the use of the batch scheduler executable. A financial reporting batch can be described as an object that is basically created to function as a container in which to put a report or group multiple reports for the purpose of being scheduled to run at a particular time of day and frequency. Batches can generate a single consolidated report or multiple reports. Adding a report to a batch also adds the functionality of bursting which allows a separate individual report to be created with the POV of each member and a list of members designated by the user. Some features include uh, the ability to schedule batches to run once at a specified time or repeatedly on a regular basis. Bursting allows users to set up batches to run multiple instances of a report with each report using a different POV based on a user specified listing. You can send reports as zipped PDF attachments in emails or have them sent to a shared directory. You can set up reports to be sent to specifi uh, specific recipients with each user getting only the report for their corresponding POV. Batch files can contain reports, books, snapshot reports, snapshot books, and other objects that are located in the repository, such as text files, PDF, PowerPoint, Excel, and Word files, as well as URLs. The basic steps to create a batch in Workspace are as follows. Start Workspace and log in. Click on Explore to view objects. Create a new document as a batch. Select a report to add the batch add to the batch and save the batch. Create a scheduled batch job in Batch Scheduler. Set the batch parameters, name, when to run the batch, server and database credentials, uh, whether you want to uh, send the batch as a snapshot, save it to a shared drive or send it as an email, and specify the recipient of the email. Then run the scheduled batch job and review the results. To demonstrate, log in to Workspace. Click on Explore. Select File, New, Document. Select Batch Reports for Scheduling. Click Next. Select the report that you want to add to the batch. Click Finish. And then save the new batch file. Here's the new batch file we just created. Now to schedule the batch uh, file to run, We'll go to Navigate, Schedule, Batch Scheduler. Right click, select New Scheduled Batch, create a name for your batch, click 
click next select the batch file that you just created provide the server the sbase server and uh, database uh, cred credentials select when you would like to run the batch we're going to leave it to perform now click next and we're going to set it up to create a PDF and email it as an attachment and also zip that attachment we'll click next here we're going to uh, we're going to select the uh, recipients of the batch so I'll send one to myself click OK this is the default uh, subject of the email and the default message body will leave that as is click next you can select to have a successful email sent to an admin with a, a subject or an and or a, an uh, unsuccessful email we'll leave these blank for now we'll click finish and it shows that the batch has been su submitted and we see that the status is running we'll click OK and we'll see if we can update the status by refreshing the screen and here it says that it's successful you can right click here and select on show details to see that it says executed successfully uh, generated the PDF and successfully sent the email so now let's see if uh, I receive the email I got a new mail and it says test batch job 2 and it's zipped we'll open that and here is the report and that's how you create a financial reporting schedule batch via workspace using Oracle Hyperion Financial Reporting version 11.122. Thank you for joining and please visit our Performance Architects how-to channel for other videos on enterprise performance management and business intelligence solutions.